You, yes, yes. You are a new apprentice. Wise leaders want me to teach you about all things, yes, yes. Make you useful to clan and great horned rat. Good. I am Skrek, master of knowledge here and useful, but they say I need to teach new Skaven. I don't think they need new Skaven, but wise leaders say teach, so I teach. But if you try to take position that is mine, I kill you, understand? Good. First lesson. Tell me, how much you know of vermin lords? Nothing. Useless. I must waste time teaching fool like you. Bah. You know better than slave. But fine. Listen, learn, and maybe you be useful too. You know there are many clans, yes? Yes? Good. Not totally stupid. Each clan is uh, different. Each master of different things. Because of that, Great Horned Rat is also master of many things. Many things that make it greatest Chaos God. But Great Horned Rat makes servants, creatures that are created and given power by Great Horned Rat. They are the Vermin Lords. They are demons like those of other Chaos Gods, but better because they are Skaven. And like the clans of the Skaven, they are uh, different, yes, yes, yes. I will uh, tell you of a few, because you are stupid and slow, and I do not want you to let knowledge fall out of ears like leaky Skaven of Clan Pestilence. But you will need to learn all one day. If you don't, feed you to giant rats. All vermin lords are different, because they represent an aspect of Great Horned Rat. But even though all different, they share common traits. First, they all have protection of the Horned Rat. They are Horned Rat's special creations, and it doesn't like seeing them hurt too quickly, unless they do something stupid. Not that they would do anything stupid. They are so great. You, uh, you hear any vermin lords coming to kill us? Good, good. They are also terrifying. T terrifying. It means very, very scary. Stupid. When enemy close, enemy trembles and shake in fear. Pooping their stupid non skaven pants. Wishing they were fighting something less scary. Like Ogor or Great Dragon. I start with greatest and most well known of vermin lords. Lord Screech Vermin King. He is oldest and most powerful of the vermin lords. But it is said that he did not start as Vermin Lord. He was mortal once. No, he was mortals. Long ago, the Lords of Decay of the time. They are leaders of all Skaven, just in case you are too stupid to know, had grand plan. Not sure what plan was, but it made Great Horned Rat angry. Probably tried to sneaky stab God somehow. Great Horned Rat took all Lords of Decay and threw them in hole in reality, and, um, forgot. Many, 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 many years later, it takes out lords. Lords now a mutant mess, all combined to mass of flesh and pain. Great horned rat squeeze mass into shape, turning it into Lord Screech Vermin King, a lord very loyal to great horned rat. Being a mass of flesh for a long time makes you very, very loyal. It is said Lord Screech, Vermin King, orchestrated the death of the old world, all part of his great plan for Great Horned Rat. He was there, laughing as everything fell away, because he is so very, very great. He is a, a natural leader, a rat king that commands all Skaven. And he is tied to all aspects of all Skaven clans. Unlike other vermin lords, he can gain knowledge of arcane from Master Clan, knowledge of flesh crafting from Molder Clan, and the list goes on and on. But his, uh, but his uh, most powerful ability maybe is his magic. 
for he knows the dreaded 13th spell. A powerful uh, spell from Great Horned Rat itself that can turn enemies into more Skaven. Great blessing for enemy, turning stupid non-Skaven into smart Skaven. Except for you, you're still stupid. Vermin Lord Warbringer is tied to Clan Verminus, the warrior clan. Very strong fighter that can kill all enemies easy. They are also um, very dramatic, appearing in a puff of smoke or even through enemy into battlefield. But when you're that strong, you can be as uh, dramatic as you want. When amongst the seething tide of his lesser Skaven, he is under even more protection, for he is uh, surrounded by many enthusiastic and expendable bodies. He wields a doom glaive like many other vermin lords, but also has a spike fist. A good weapon that can find weakness in enemy armor and causes giant pain and even bigger death. He can also make nearby Skaven frenzy like stupid Fire Slayer Berserkers. Even when they die, they take many with them. Clan Verminous love when Warbringer is near, for they see it as tyrants of battle. They fight harder and stronger to impress. Warbringer don't care, but it's nice for Skaven to believe. Vermin Lord Deceiver not like Warbringers. They not uh, flashy. They don't like to show off to everyone before they strike. But they like being mysterious, talking in shadows, and whispering things that echo, which makes people very uh, creeped out. They are shrouded in darkness, so hard for enemy to see them, and when enemy is close, they strike. For weaker enemies, they throw a giant metal star called Doomstar that cuts off many heads. But if enemy is big, they leap from shadow and stab stab with warp stiletto that goes through armor like nothing. It can also cast Skitter Leap, a spell that make it or other Skaven move fast between places to strike quick quick. Because of all of this, they are Lord of Assassins, very very close to Clan Eshin and commanding them with great skills. Vermin Lord Corruptor are Lords of Pestilence to Clan Pestilence, like uh, demigods. That is because Corruptor is aspect of Great Horned Rat as great, as great, <sighs> as great Corruptor. You are stupid. And like the Plague Priests of Clan Pestilence, they are uh, fanatics, don't care about deceiving or manipulating. All that matters is spreading Great Horn Rat's filth everywhere. They wield Plague Reapers, sickle blades that poison with a little nick. They also have a poison gas that always around them. Anyone in near gets poisoned and die, die in terrible ways. Can also cast a dreaded plague that turns enemy into screaming mass of uh, diseased flesh. Vermin Lord Warpseer is master manipulator and schemer. They are smartest of all vermin lords and have many many plans to make stupid other races even stupider. It can also summon a scry orb. Scry orb can see uh, glimpses into future. Very useful to dodge dangerous blows. But when he gets desperate, he can throw ball, kill many enemies, but cannot see into future again for a long, long, long time only use as weapon when they really need to. Not that they ever need to, because they are so great. They are also uh, masters of magic. Best spell it has is Dreaded Warp Gale. Causes uh, damage to uh, enemy and makes them slow. And anything that flies can't fly, because wind turns them into ground paste. Smart, very smart not to let enemy get close and presence of Warp Seer makes other Skaven not afraid. It calls out to Skaven, saying, Forth, forth, children of Horned Rat. Very impressive when he speaks. Warp Na Vermin Lord is different from other uh, Vermin Lords. It does not have presence of Horned Rat to protect it or terrifying presence. They have a different purpose than other Vermin Lords. 
they guide Skaven through the gnaw holes. No, many, many ways, which makes them realm guides. Leading forces through to attack enemy when they least expect. Because they spend so much time in between places, they have uh, aura that is like reality splintering around them into little bits. Makes them hard to hit with ranged weapons and hard to deal a good blow. If they have to fight, wield powerful gnaw glaive and can splinter screech. A screech that digs into head of enemy and can make head explode. There. Knowledge. You less stupid now. We'll test later when least expects. If you fail, you die. And I get other stupid Skaven assistant. Now run and get me warp stone tea. And if you spill drop, you die, die, die. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the vermin lords of the Skaven. I had a lot of fun making it, even doing that weird Skaven voice. Which is fun to do, but it's terrible in the throat. If you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, press a little bell so you know whenever I post. And if you're inclined, uh, give a little money my way through my Patreon. Or if you want to do a one-time little tip or donation, I also have a Ko-fi account, which will both be linked down below. The extra money gives me the time I need to work on these stories that I love. Anyway, thanks for listening, and see you next time.